I'm going to show you how you can achieve this amazing result in your space render. Just think just you saw in the starting. So this is basically all done in viewport, compositor, in EV, and it is real time. So basically just get the breakdown first. As you can see here, my node setup. First, I have done the lens distortion, then the glare with fog glow and the glare with ghost. So I was playing around with the scene and I did this amazing thing in viewport and achieved this result. I really like it. So as you can see, this stretches out and then this ghostly effect and the camera passes by. So let me just show you what we have done. So just plug our image into the final image. Nothing, just the camera focal length. As we can see, camera focal length is on one millimeter. Then what I did is animated the camera focal length from one to thirty, and that's it for the camera. Then we have our image. We choose the lens distortion, which brings us here. Some stretch in the image with the distortion of 0.1, and the dispersion effect is animated from my 0.5 to all the way zero till the frame 70 till we reach and just barely stabilize our spaceship let's make it look good then i have this amazing glare node which is set to full glow on low density otherwise it will look too much for the scene so just keep it low and the mix is minus 0.8 because as you can see if we move to one or zero this is 50 50 if we move to one this is full glow of the glare and minus one is this note is not working that means so minus 0.8 is fair for me then we have this amazing looking ghost defect from the same glare note so this is not showing because i keyframed it till here so from the start I have set it to 0.050 this is default iteration 3 and minus 0.9 this is enough if we increase this you can see that's bad so we just here see it comes from minus 0.9 to 1 till the frame 70 and it looks amazing to see how the lighting of that planet turns out to be looking cool so this is how i done this effect and this is all we can see from the camera view you can change to always and see from everywhere yeah that's pretty trippy to look like a sketch fab viewport but keep it to the camera to not bother your viewport much and you can try with your space chains make sure the lighting is good and for this planet we check selling the effect i'm using the custom planetary add-on yep here uh, the free version which have one planet so we can transform the surface scale it rotate it here is the planet rotation and overall i simply animate the image the image is not rotating our camera is rotating so here you can choose the surface or light type water emission clouds and atmosphere not much of a changes because it's a free add-on you can buy a paid version too and that's it for the effect and it looks amazing and surprising in your new world so let's see you with another video till then bye bye and